Oscar Demolition Derby, except it's called Question Period. It's a lot messier and a lot uglier. I got a question for you then. Yes, dear. GST was initiated years ago and they said it was only going to be a temporary thing. Absolutely. So, if the GST was only going to be temporary, why did they take and nail us in the ass and put the HST on now? The HST is a decision that uh, has caused a lot of a lot of unhappy people, but basically it's a provincial decision, and uh, and the Conservatives in Ottawa uh, enabled it, but the uh, province of Ontario is the one that brought it in. Uh, in Quebec, where I'm an MP, we've had an HST of, of some sort for quite a while, and nobody likes paying taxes. But one of the questions that we have to ask is, as we've gone through this recession, this put us into $65 billion of deficit, how much better off would we have been had we not dropped the GST by two points? Okay. And we're still in surplus situation. Okay, so years ago, all these I was taxes, still in high school years all, around. Years ago, <laughs> but, uh, exactly. but years ago, they had said that in order to take and bring down the gross national debt of Canada, yep. Yep. each province has a certain proportion that they have to pay. Yep. When I was helping my daughter do a project for school, mm -hmm. she picked the province of Alberta. Okay. Great. My sister lives there. <laughs> so, we did a whole bunch of study, financially, economically, uh, agriculture, everything else. And one of the questions that came up was, how did Alberta take and pay off their portion of the gross, na gross national debt to Canada? They brought a certain tax in, they paid it for so many years, they don't have to pay all the taxes that we do in Ontario. Well, Why actually, can't Ontario Alberta is facing huge thing? deficits right now. Alberta's in big trouble because they did a lot of cutting taxes and counting everything on oil revenue uh, that during the recession uh, decreased in value. And uh, Alberta's in a lot of trouble right now just because they got in a no tax or low tax <laughs> provincial mentality that leaves them in deficit right now. So it's a lot more complicated than just looking at who's paying what. It's a question of how we pull everything together. And understanding that, you know, the, the way we are smart in, in the pit we have we Cody Hughes card number 34. As opposed to just saying taxes are good or taxes are bad, but what we spend it on. We're going into a recession, for example, there's nothing bad with borrowing some money so that we can spend a little more to keep people's jobs rolling, give them more benefits. As long as the things we're spending money on make sure that 10 years from now we'll have created enough prosperity that we'll be able to pay back what we borrow with interest. It's not about how much we borrow or how much we tax it. The decisions we're making on how we're spending. And right now, our big problem with this government is the way they're not making smart decisions about what the money they're spending on is. Mr. Nadia, could you start making your yeah. way back over here, please? We Justice need you Pardo, at the member pit. Member Parliament from Papineau, can you do me a favor? We need you at the pit, Mr. Nadia. My wife isn't here today because of the health care system. Tell the clown you call it. Part number T17. Teddy Chenard, I'm going to ask now that.